Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, August 26, 2008. Here are today's top stories. ABC's Dancing with the Stars will be back for Season 7, beginning with a three-night premiere on September 22nd at 8 p.m. This new season will follow 13 celebrities as they compete for the Disco Ball Trophy. Lance Bass, Grammy winner Tony Braxton, host, actress, entrepreneur Brooke Burke, Rocco Disparito, celebrity chef slash author, Olympic gold medal winner Maurice Green, Kim Kardashian, model and star in the E! Show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, multiple award-winning actress Cloris Leachman, Disney Channel star of Hannah Montana, Cody Lindley, Susan Lucci, Misty May trainer, Olympic gold volleyball champ, actor Ted McGinley, comedian Jeffrey Ross, and Super Bowl champ Warren Sapp. NBC's universal coverage of the Beijing Olympics resulted in a 17-day rating of 16.228. Due to Nielsen's delays yesterday, a final total viewer count will be released today and reported in tomorrow's editions. Well, Survivor fans, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. CBS is changing the season debut date of Survivor Gabe and Earth's Last Eden to September 25th and making it a two-hour premiere starting at 8 p.m. Now, the series, which will broadcast in high def for the first time, was originally scheduled for a 60-minute episode to be released on September 18th. Lifetime Television introduces a first-time schedule of original, unscripted daytime programs. Mom's Cooking, Moms and Daughters Will Cook Favorite Recipes Together. It airs Monday through Friday, beginning this December. Lisa Williams, British Clairvoyant, returns to the network in this half-hour, five-episode special from Merv Griffin Entertainment, which will air over five consecutive days starting October 27th. And an untitled Fat Friends project. It's a docu-series which follows a group of girlfriends as they attempt to lose weight together. Five episodes will air over five consecutive weekdays next January. John Stewart and his team from Comedy Central's The Daily Show with John Stewart will broadcast from the Democratic National Convention tonight through Friday at 11 p.m. nightly. The Daily Show, Look Who's Coming to Denver, will be taped at the Byron Theater in the Newman Center for the Performing Arts at the University of Denver. Under production and development, ABC announced five new series orders, including three comedies, Cupid, about a guy who thinks he's Cupid, Better Off Ted, starring Jay Harrington, who plays an office worker trying to move up in his corporation, and Single with Parents, starring Alyssa Milano, about a young woman juggling her parents, played by Annie Potts and Beau Bridges. ABC also picked up two cop shows, Castle, starring Nathan Fillion in the lead. He plays a novelist who helps the NYPD solve murder cases. And The Unusuals, an ensemble show also set within the NYPD inside a crazy precinct with Harold Perrineau Jr., Amber Tamblin, Jeremy Renner, Adam Goldberg, Kai Lennox, and Terry Kinney. For American Idol's eighth season, songwriter-producer Cara Diogardi will be added as a fourth judge along with Paula Abdul, Simon Cowell, and Randy Jackson. American Idol will premiere next January on Fox. Over at MTV, they selected Mario Lopez to host its newest live music competition series, MTV's Top Pop Group, which opens September 11th at 10 p.m. The list of celebrity judges and mentors will be announced later. Nine aspiring pop groups will compete for the $100,000 cash prize and the title of MTV's Top Pop Group. Richard Karn will host GSN's Bingo America, which began production on Season 2 in L.A. with 65 episodes. The game show will debut October 6th, airing weeknights at 6.30, with encores airing Saturdays and Sundays at 4 p.m. Well, that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, plenty of new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and of course tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonic. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.